Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the differential equation. Today I will explain you the concept of operator method. Myself, Dr. Harish Kark. You can follow my YouTube channel where you can find the playlist of mathematics two differential equations and the linear algebra. In this playlist, you can see the various lecture related to the differential equations and its subsequent topics. Now. In our previous lecture, we have seen how you can solve the any of the differential equation, whether it is my second order such that y double dash minus four y dash plus three y is equal to sine x, or it can be of like minus three y dash plus y is equal to e raised to power x minus x plus one, etc. How you can solve that? We can decompose into the two solution. One is a complementary part. Second is a particular solution. For this complementary solution, we have to write the auxiliary equations. How you can write the auxiliary equation like m squared plus m and so on. And for more detail about this auxiliary equation, you can watch about my this lecture of the linear differential equation with constant coefficients. However, once you can find the value of the y c and y p, that is a complementary solution and particular, we can find the general solution is y c plus y p. The major question arises is how you can find the particular solution. We have already discussed the two methods. First method is method of undetermined and the variation of parameters. The detail of these lectures and their subsequent examples you can see in this playlist. Method of the undetermined coefficients, examples of the undetermined coefficients, and the examples of the various variation of the parameters. Now, in this lecture, we will see the third methods how you can find the particular solutions for the differential equation, and that method is known as the operator method. For example, if you have the differential equation like y double dash plus y is e raised to power x, clearly say you can write the auxiliary equation as m squared plus one is zero. And for the particular solution, the same problem you can solve with the help of the method of undetermined. Same problem you can solve with the help of the variation of parameters. And now I will explain you the same problem we solve with the help of the operator methods. Believe me, this operator method is very very simple. So I will tell you the generalized way how you can solve it. Now consider the nth order differential equations. What you can do is I can consider the operator d as d over dx. Make sure this capital D is my operator. Fine. So then, what is the value of the d square? It is my d square upon d x square, and so on. Fine. So from this case. I can say what is the value of the dy. So if I multiply by y, then it's a dy over dx. Similarly, d square y. This implies d square y over dx square, and so on. Now, if I substitute all these values in the given equation, the first expression becomes d raised to power n y. Second one is a one d raised to power n minus one y plus so on. The last expression is a n minus one into d y plus a n y is equal to f x. Fine. Then you can take y as a common. Fine. Your expression becomes my this quantity. Now clearly say this expression. This is my polynomial. Fine. This is polynomial in my capital D. So I denoted this function is polynomial in the capital D of y. Which is my f x. Fine. Then can you find the value of y from this case? The value of the y is my one over p into d. That's a polynomial of the f x. Now here we have the two important observation. The first thing thing is what does the meaning of the one by p d? P is my polynomial, so it represents an operations which you need to be per perform on the f x, which give you the y. The two major question arises here. The first question arises is, what is the nature of this operation? What is the nature of this operation? Whether this is my integration, whether this is my differentiation, whether this is my partial derivative, or what is the nature of this operation? And second is how we can carry it out. A very very simple. I will explain you this operation by taking the different cases. Remember, because p is my polynomial, fine. P d is my polynomial, so I can consider a polynomial is either d 
or d square or d cube and so on second case whatever the polynomial you have you can factorize them like d minus alpha 1 d minus alpha 2 you can easily factorize them. so first case i can consider it simply i can take p of d is my d fine then your this e equations if i consider p of d is my d then this equation becomes my dy is equal to fx can you find the value of the y from this case y is my 1 over d into fx fine also also how you can write the dy d is my operator of d into dx of y is equal to fx can you find the value of y i can integrating on the both side so the value of the y is my fx integration of the fx into d now from the equation number 1 and equation number 2 what does it means that means 1 over d into fx is equal to integration of the fx of dx now the answer of this first question is what does the 1 over d represents so clearly say this represents my integration so that means you can say 1 over d is the operator which represents my integration similarly if i consider the as a d square of fx that means it's my double integration of the fx similarly if you written as a d cube then it represents my triple integration of the fx fine and so on. so that's the first case when you consider as a d or d cube case second whatever the polynomial you have you can factorize them into the linear factor 1 min uh, d minus alpha 1 d minus alpha 2 and so on so let's start with the first case so you can see 1 over d is my inverse operator why why we call as a inverse operator because i have d is my d over dx which is my differentiation and 1 over d is my integration so that means this are my inverse operators now look at the second case how you can find the value of y so clearly say the value of y i can obtain is 1 minus of this case fine another way also i can substitute the value of the d is my d minus r of y which is fx if i open this bracket it is my dy over dx minus y r is equal to fx so how you can solve that clearly say this equation is my linear in y or someone will call also call as this is my leibniz fine how you can solve that we all know we can find the integrating factor if you remember in your lower class you already solved this equation py is equal to q then you have to find the integrating factor e raised to power pdx then your solution will be y into integrating factor which is equal to q that's a right hand side into integrating factor fine so based on this how you can solve that what is the integrating factor of this question this is e raised to power minus r into dx so therefore your solution will be y into integrating factor okay what is the integration of this e raised to power minus rx so it's e raised to power minus rx what is the q q is my right hand side fx e raised to power minus rx of d fine for more details how you can find this solution so i always recommended you for more detail how you can solve the linear equations you can watch about my this lecture of the linear this one linear differential equation and the bernoulli equation anyhow so can you find the value of the y from this case the value of the y is my e raised to power rx integration e raised to power minus rx fx of d fine now from again from the equation number 1 and equation number 2 we can say 1 over d minus r is again the integration but integration is of this nature clearly say if i taken r is my 
fine then this expression is 1 over d fx e raised to power 0 1 e raised to power 0 1 and of the f this is similar to the previous case fine now based on this two results 1 over d and 1 over d minus r we can solve this particular integral remember once you have then your target is to what is the value of the fx we have considered the three different cases of the fx that fx it may be the exponential nature it may be the polynomial nature or it may be of the mixed nature fine the case number one is when fx is my polynomial form second case when fx is my polynomial nature and the third one is when it is a product of the polynomial or the exponential nature. how you can solve that for example you can see the right hand side is my polynomial uh, is exponential so this is my case one this is completely my polynomial so this is represented for my case two and this is my mix of them we can say this is my case three fine now when the right hand side is my exponential that means whenever we have considered the fx is my polynomial when exponential this is exponential exponential all are my exponential so whenever there is a case of the exponential you can use this formula 1 over d minus r is this case. on the other hand whenever your right hand side is my polynomial fine then you have to find i can write this first part is say d cube minus 2d square plus 1 of y is x raised to power 4 plus 2x plus 5 so it's a polynomial fine i can find the value of the y is 1 over d cube minus 2d square fine now whenever the right hand side this is my polynomial you can see all are my polynomials then you can write this expression in terms of inverse of this for example in the first case i can write this expression is 1 over d cube minus 2d square plus 1 of this value fine now you can write this as the inverse so 1 plus d cube minus 2d square of minus 1 fine then you can expand this series how you can expand them either you can use as this 1 plus x raised to power minus 1 or if it is a 1 minus then you can use this case third when it is a mixture of them polynomial and exponentials then you can always use this rule we will discuss this when we consider the various examples so i will explain you this first question this is related to the exponential solve these equations by finding the particular solution by operator method fine now your target is to solve the equations so we have to find the two solutions complementary and particular and this particular solution we have to solve the by the operator method although you can find this particular solution by the variation of parameters fine or by the method of the undetermined coefficient if you watch these lectures of the method of undetermined coefficients and the variation of parameter the same example i have already explained now let's see firstly how you can find the complementary solutions so your auxiliary equation is i can write this number is m square minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0 fine can you factorize them it is m minus 1 m minus 2 is equal to 0 the value of the m is my 1 and 2 once you know the value of the m is 1 and 2 your complementary solution will be c1 e raised to power 1x c2 e raised to power 2x fine these complementary solution are already explained in all these lectures now for the particular solution how you can find the particular solution i can write in the operator way is a 1 over d square minus 3d plus 2 y i can take as a common e raised to power 3x so can you find the value of the y y is 1 over d square minus 3d plus of 2 e raised to power 3x can you factorize them the denominator will be d minus 1 d minus 2 of 
e raised to power 3. Fine. Now, now I can use this formula. Firstly, I can solve this expression on d, d minus 2 and later on this case. So clearly say in this case, r is my 2. Always remember you compare with the negative. So e raised to power r into x, e raised to power minus r into x into fx. fx is e raised to power 3x dx. Now can you solve this integration? Fine. So that I think that's a very simple for you now. This number is e raised to power x into dx. So what is the answer of this? Is the e raised to power x. Fine. So the answer is e raised to power 3x. Fine. Now once you have obtained this formula, then you can write the remaining expression. 1 minus 1 over d minus 1. What is the answer of this component? Answer of this component is my e raised to power 3x. Make sure this is not the e raised to power 3x. Whatever the answer you have obtained, you can write this expression. So therefore, yp is my whatever the left behind and what you have obtained. Now in this case, again you can apply this formula. In this case, what is the r? r is my plus 1. Fine. So I can substitute this value e raised to power 1x e raised to power minus rx into e raised to power 3x. Now can you solve this expression? e raised to power 1x, it is e raised to power 2x. So what is the integration of this component? e raised to power 1x, e raised to power 2x over 2. So that will be e raised to power 3x divided by 2 is the answer of this yp. Now this is the answer of the yc, this is the answer of the yp, so therefore the complete solution will be yc plus yp. So you can add them is the required solution of this problem. This is the way you can find the operator method in a very very simple way. Now uh, since we have the three different cases for more details about the various lecture we will see the case one examples several examples 10 more than 10 examples in the exponential form in our next lecture and then we will see that case 2 and case 3. Till then you can like, share and comment on this video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel for this sport. Thanks for the watching. Happy learning always. Best wishes.